Hey, what's going on my friends? Byron here with LiveYourEpicLife.com and The Epic Life Project. Today I want to share with you three things that you definitely want to keep in mind whenever you decide to really start trying to make a living doing what makes you come alive. Okay, here it is. Number one, you want to make sure that you separate the creative process from the critiquing process. One of the big mistakes that I see people make uh, that I coach or that I, that, I, that I walk with through the process of turning their, their passion into their profession is this. They shoot down the initial creative process with starting to critique and self-edit. What this means is all of a sudden when, when they need to be thinking about big picture, 50,000 feet perspective on what it is they want to do and what services they want to give the world, they will immediately drill down to the ground and start identifying all the reasons why, they, why, why things won't work out. And when they do that, when they start critiquing the things they need to be uh, thinking about creatively too soon, they will get discouraged and psych themselves out and, and at the end result, they'll, they'll give up. Okay, so that's the first thing you don't want to do. You want to make sure you always separate your creative process from your critiquing process. The critiquing process has its place. We want to constructively look at what we're doing in a way that uh, helps us identify our blind spots and really dials in and hones the system that we're trying to execute. But that comes later, okay? We want to separate the creative process from the critiquing process. The second thing you want to keep in mind is this. You want to begin to own your passion. What do I mean by this? Many of us will second guess ourselves or we will uh, disqualify ourselves from really positioning ourselves as the expert in the thing that we love to do. We will always play down or discount or disqualify our, our value. And as a result, we will not offer that value to other people. Here, let me just, just share this with you right out of the gate, okay? If you are passionate about something, chances are you are about two, three, maybe even four chapters ahead of someone else who shares that same passion. And because you are passionate about that, you probably have tips, tricks, and techniques that would help those people who are chapters behind you be successful. Everyone can help someone else get to the level that they're at. And once you start recognizing that, as you continue to grow in your, uh, your, 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 your profession, in your skill work, you can just take those other people along with you. You are an expert, my friend, and all you have to do is solve the problem of people who are two or three or four chapters behind you. And as you grow, you take them along for the ride. Start owning your passion. So that's the second thing you wanna keep in mind. The third thing you wanna keep in mind is this. Start creating a system. Organize your expertise into a system that begins to get other people results. Okay, that's the third thing you want to keep in mind. As you own your expertise, take the time to craft that expertise into a system that other people can use and get results with. The more you can get other people results, the more the world will begin to see you and seek after you as the go-to expert. And when you begin to do those things, guys, guess what? You will begin to be paid to do what it is you love. So those are the three things that you want to keep in mind if you want to start living your passion, playing to your strengths, and getting paid to do what it is you love. Number one, you want to separate the creative process from the critiquing process. Number two, you want to begin to own your expertise right where you are. And then number three, you want to uh, organize your expertise into a system that gets other people success. When you do these three things consistently over time, my friend, you won't have to worry about finding success because success will have an inevitable way of finding you. Okay, guys, that's it for today. Remember, in everything that you do, live generously, live courageously, and always choose to live your epic life. Take care.